When Evil Lurks is now available in limited theaters and also now streaming on Shudder. This is a film that has been getting a lot of rave reviews and a lot of people have really seemed to be enjoying this film. Do I follow that crowd or do I simply just not like this film? Well stick around and let's talk about it. In a remote village, two brothers find a demon-infected man just about to give birth to evil itself. They decide to get rid of the man, but merely succeed in spreading the chaos. The film stars Esquiel Rodriguez, Louis Zembroski, Damien Solomon, and Federico Liz, and was directed by Damien Rugna, and he's done two other films that I've heard of before but I've never seen, and that is Terrified and Satanic Hispanics. So I heard about When Evil Lurks months back and it did get a limited theater release. I got a screener from Shudder so I elected to watch this film at home. And this film, it starts off pretty quickly. You have two men who hear gunshots and the next morning they go out to the woods and they explore it and they see half of a man's body, his lower half with his guts hanging out which eventually leads them to a shack. They see this woman and she has two sons and one of her sons is rotten. And rotten in this film basically means that a evil possession has entrapped themselves into the body of this person and the devil is waiting birth out of this person. And they have this guy called the cleaner who was killed in the woods. He is supposed to safely kill this demon and get this demon out of this person. When these two men get to this house, they see this guy rotten. He has like pus in him. I mean, he's really overweight. He looks absolutely disgusting. The whole makeup and the whole makeup of this rotten individual, he just looks hideous. It is just crazy looking how he looks i definitely had some cringe moments within seeing this guy and just the state of his nature the two men they try to go to the police and explain this rotten guy that is supposedly possessed and the police they don't care which is a horror trope in most horror movies where the cops they're pretty useless so then they go to the landowner and they're like what should we do with this rotten body He's around your land and all that. And he says, well, why don't you guys go dump the body? So they load the body into the back of their truck. And then he actually falls out of the truck after they narrowly miss a kid in the road. When Evil Lurks really isn't a film that really explains everything off the bat. You really have to just watch the film unfold. It really just throws you in and you're just there for the ride. And I really did enjoy that we're just there for the ride. It's a very violent film. There's a lot of set of rules that are involved with this possession and rotten and cleaner and all these different things that really tie into the film. No one is safe in this film, which is absolutely awesome. I love watching a movie and you have no idea who's going to live or die. And at any second in time, something can just turn itself upside down and you have no idea what is coming. I really enjoyed that. There are some shocking moments in this film, and I will warn and caution people, if you don't like to see animals get killed, there are parts in here where animals get killed in brutal ways. So I will just caution you right there. There is also some child abuse and other things where children are getting hurt in this film. So that is another thing that was really shocking. There was this one scene that involved a child and a dog, and I was like, oh my gosh, I definitely did not see that coming. The film, it feels like it has a sense of hopelessness. And in some ways, I'm not saying it's as good as, but in some ways, this reminds me of like a Spanish hereditary. It's very dark. It is family oriented, but there is a lot of dark moments I feel like in this film. I think the blood and violence and the overall makeup, the effects, they all look really good now i will say on the negative side the family aspect it's in here and i think a lot of times in spanish films and the way that they actually portray family i think that it's very authentic and i definitely think in this film it is very authentic how they portray this family and just different things that are going on you know i love the grandma with the set of rules and explaining the set of rules but i do think that the set of rules they're not always followed and i think 
when they do kind of come into effect and into play, I don't think they're always followed to a T and it can be a little bit kind of confusing. And some of the things with like the demon and why he affected certain people and not other people, it definitely comes into play. So I think there is some mixed aspects into that with the characters. Now, it was a little bit hard for me to get into the characters per se, but I think even though the characters, they're not that strong throughout the film for me, I do feel like a lot of the horror moments and just the aspects of the story and the fact that this film, it feels very fresh. It doesn't feel very generic to me. I felt like there were a lot of things in this film that I just didn't really expect. And I think the story overall, it's got some mixed aspects and I don't think that everything ties really well together all the time in this film. I will say in this film, one of my favorite scenes is the school scene. I definitely felt the dread of that scene, the coloring, just the whole vibe of it was very off to me. Characters, they get into that school and there are parts in there where I was like, no, don't do that. And there are other parts in this film where I was like that, you know, don't do that. You're going to make it worse. You know, people not following instructions, those sort of things. Yeah, it could be a little bit frustrating, you know, if you're watching this and you're like, no, don't do that. What are you doing? You're acting stupid. Well, we have to have a movie here. So I understand that. I will say with this film and how it kind of ties together and how it ends up towards the end of this film, it doesn't really tie into a nice pretty bow. So, you know, it depends on how you like your horror and how you like your endings. I'm okay with the ending. It really makes a lot of sense. I feel like there is just not a lot of hope within this film and i think they did a really good job of just creating that hopelessness effect throughout this film as far as a score for when evil lurks i would give this film a three and a half out of five i like this film i don't know how much it would be in rewatchability for me but i do think there are a lot of good things in here that really do make indie horror films feel very fresh and don't feel like a generic kind of film that we see into theaters and I definitely feel like this film it definitely has its own style and it really is trying to create something a little bit different and I really did enjoy that about this film but let me know in the comments what did you think about When Evil Lurks? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of man? I really have not heard many bad reviews for this film so it's very interesting to see the love that this film is getting, and I'm really glad that people seem to really be enjoying this film. I definitely think it's one of the better Shutter films, and it's definitely a film that I recommend that you check out if you're okay reading subtitles. But thank you guys for watching this review. I will see you guys on my next review.